All right, we have head coach Bubba Schweiger and running back down Santiago. Coach, if you will, just make up any statement and we'll take questions. Um, well, obviously not the result we wanted coming out here, and we um, felt like we'd have to defensively not give up big plays, you know, explosive plays over 25 and 30 yards and, and tackling space. And we didn't do a good enough job of that defensively. A bright spot on defense was causing some early turnovers. And then we needed to turn those into points to get some momentum here on the road. And we still uh, made a good stop right before half. We come out and we need to get a stop to get back in the game and that didn't happen. Then it becomes a huge task. But, uh, you know, congrats to the Grizz. They won the game and for us, we got a lot of work to do and we're gonna work hard here down the stretch of our season. What, uh, when did you kind of decide on Keaton and uh, how would you kind of assess what you saw your backups today? Well, with Keaton, you know, he, he's really tough. And I believe me, if he could have played and been effective today, he would have played, but um, that one really surprised us. You know, he was good after the game and then late last week, Saturday night, he got really sore and Sunday was a real surprise that he was in the condition he was in. And we thought we'd hold him out early in the week and he'd come around like he has in the past, but it just wouldn't come around. You know, I thought uh, both our guys handled the environment decent today. You know, there's a lot of noise early and Brad had to get us in the right run plays and all that, you know, and, and then I thought Andrew threw the ball well and made some plays in the second half. And we'll take a look, you know, without seeing the video and all that. We aren't going to make any decisions right now, but we'll take a look and then we'll see if Keaton can get back. You know, he's our starter for the reason, for a reason. Why do you think Montana was able to hit for so many big plays? Well, one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, um, uh, our guys made some plays. Uh, I don't think we tackled in space very well where we need to do that, but, uh, you know, we're uh, not very experienced right there at this point. Uh, lost Evan again today. That looks like it'll be season ending now. And, and uh, that's just where we're at. We're going to keep working with our guys to keep challenging receivers, keep getting better. And, and, and that's all we can do. John, what, uh, what's it been like this year having to face as many challenges as you have? Uh, you come into this game, you're already banged up. You find out Keaton's hurt. Um, how have you guys been able to handle that? Um, I mean, yeah, obviously it's tough sledding right now, but the big thing is, is we got to stay, we got to stay tuned in to the plan that we have uh, going each week. We just have to stay focused on what our job needs to do. We're not gonna, we're not gonna focus on that adversity. We're not gonna let that bring us down each week. We just gotta focus on the things we do have and the tools we do have, and just taking the coach's plan each week and capitalize on it. Just start with you. We'll get your opening comments on a good victory for the Grizz. Well, it's it's nice to be home, and uh, the crowd was great, and our kids came out and and really gave us great effort for the seventh straight week. It's something we talk about. We we can't control a lot of things in, in the game, but we we can sure control our effort. And uh, for seven weeks, our, our guys give us everything that they've got. It gives us a chance to be successful. And, and then we just got to manage the game as, as it goes and what, what happens. And, and uh, you know, I thought, thought we dealt with all the things that the game uh, had in it, especially offensively. We didn't play very well in, in the first half. And a lot of things uh, that they did gave us a little bit of problem early and, and uh, had some turnovers, but it never faced us. And the defense gave us a chance to have a lead at, at halftime. And then you come out in, in the second half and, and play pretty well early offensively and you kind of blow the thing open. But uh, I never really felt when I, when I saw our defensive play, defense play in the first in the first series, there was no question that we were going to win the ball game, you know, and and it was never in question. And and uh, uh, very proud of how our defense came out and, and a, a team that was going to bound and determined to run the ball, and they they had a tough time doing it today, you know. So uh, special teams look good, you know. All, all the things were uh, pretty decent. We had a we had a, a field goal block, but you know we've got to look at that particular.
protection and, and uh, that's not Brandon that, that's that's up front but uh, pretty solid win against the defending Big Sky champions preseason Big Sky uh, champion pick and uh, and our guys went out and took the win questions Chris you guys were able to hit for a lot of big plays why were you guys so effective uh, just those guys making plays. I mean, a lot of those just dump it off to receivers. I mean, Jerry had that long one. And the guys just making plays for me, and uh, I mean, that, that was just awesome to see. Just, I mean, you just dump it off and let your athletes go make plays. Chris, how do you feel different now than versus your last home game here, where it was your first start? Uh, definitely a lot better after the game. That's for sure. <laughs> we'll take the win, um, and just just being more comfortable and like uh, what, knowing what to expect, and um, just kind of getting more comfortable in the offense and just everything like that. So it, it's it's a, it's a lot different. Um, but I feel more comfortable and more just relaxed and uh, just went out there playing. What kind of go through your head when you had the early pick and then the one on fourth down and fumble? Yeah. And then you wanted to throw for like, you know, career I, yards. So what's that mentality like? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that was, a, that, that, was a, that was a little rough. I got to do better protecting the ball. Um, and, you know, fourth down is kind of give, giving our guy a chance. Um, but, yeah, I got to definitely protect the ball better and uh, just staying even keeled throughout the game and um, going out there and just letting, letting my guys make plays for me. and. Uh, you know, defense did a great job getting us the ball. Uh, we, had, we had to finish a little bit better. There's definitely there's so much we can clean up, uh, so much room for improvement, and I'm just excited going forward. Coach, it looked like early on uh, they were giving you guys some soft boxes on first down that you guys were able to take advantage of. Um, what, what, did that, what kind of role did that play in just the offensive ability to get a rhythm early? <coughs> well, it's, it's nice to be able to run the ball early, and, and they did a really nice job of, of mixing things up. And you never really saw the same against the same formation two plays in a, in a row, and uh, and it, it was a little bit more difficult. We we had to kind of change our our uh, game plan at halftime about how we were going to call things, and and uh, we we just went with the same calls every every time in the second half and let Gress check rather than us trying to decide do we want to run it or do we want to pass it and and uh, so that that simplified it a little bit and he he did a nice job of, of going after the the single coverage when they gave it and he did a nice job of handing it off when it needed to be hand, handed off they, they confused us you know some early and it, it was difficult but the running game was good enough to, to get us down there and get some points and, and at least get the lead Josh, probably preparing for their starting quarterback. At what point did you see that he wasn't going to play, and then how does that kind of you know change what you guys do? Um, you know, in warmups we kind of saw him with his knee wrapped. Uh, I still don't know what you know what the injury was, but he wasn't really throwing. Saw him saw him hobbling around a little bit, um, but you know it didn't change anything with what we prepared or how we prepared. Um, same mentality, same focus going into the game. Um, I mean, really didn't change anything. We got to go in there and just play. How do you feel about a performance like that on the defense? You know, it's exciting. Uh, Coach Seymour and all the other defensive coaches got us in the right, you know, defense. Uh, it was a great week of preparation. Um, so hats off to all the coaches. And uh, everyone just did their jobs and executed and played fast. And it was, it was a good day. Coach, did you feel like uh, you called the game any different knowing that North Dakota kind of became one dimensional when their quarterback was hurt? You know, uh, now, are you talking about calling it on defense or offense? Defense. I just mean, did the game plan kind of change at all with studs or not being? Not really, because they're a run first team. You know, you, when you play North Dakota, you got to stop the run. And uh, uh, we felt like we needed to be good on first down. We wanted to get them off schedule, so to speak, uh, on uh, second and third down to force them to throw the ball. We wanted them to throw the ball. And uh, they've got great running backs, and, and they're very good, and they, they're complex with their schemes, and there's a, there's a lot of gaps to, to cancel out, and, and they're very difficult in the box for you. And our guys did a great job of, of uh, uh, lining up. Our coaches did a great job with the game plan and, and getting them ready to go. But you got to stop the run first, you know, and, and uh, uh, their, their cue out. You know they're not going to throw it as much, and so you can pin your ears back. But they they're going to play action. They had some guys open, and, and we covered them when when they when they did try to throw it. Keenan, um, it seems like it's kind of a, a different wide receiver each week now. Um, that ends up you know having a great game. Um, is that something going into it? You kind of see something um, on tape like, hey, this might be a big game for me. Or so just as the game develops, you just you know put those on the I think it's more so how the game develops. Um, I mean, like you said, we have a really deep, talented core of wide receivers. Um, and any game could be any guy's game. You know, um, you know, 
last week, Jerry and Samori and, and Josh Warner, they made a lot of big plays, and Justin and Sammy. Um, just having to be this week, I, I got some more opportunities, and um, just got to take advantage of them. So, you know, <clears throat> going to the bye week and, and going forward, you know, I think that just makes us, uh, lets other teams know that we're very dangerous <coughs> on the outside. Um, we got a lot of guys that can make plays, and so you got to respect that. Talk about the, the route uh, you're done with the run post and then you break outside. Um, it, worked, it worked twice today. Um, is that something that just kind of started new, uh, or have you been running that route all year? Um, I think we saw that on film. It, it, it got put in this week, but um, we saw it on film with probably another team that did it. I can't remember exactly what team it was. Um, but also, I think that's something that we've been setting up throughout the season um, with our deep post routes that we've been running. You know, the one that Sammy caught last week, and, and Justin had uh, two last week, one for a touchdown. So um, though we knew that those were things that they would need to stop. Um, because we had so many big plays last week off of those. So that's just another, you know, gimme off that. You give them a post, they obviously have to respect it, then you corner it, and we're wide open. And Gresh is making beautiful throws, of course. Keenan, yeah, more on Gresh's <coughs> progression as a wide receiver, what have you loved about how he's been playing the last few weeks and what he's been doing? Well, the guy's got ice in his veins, and he doesn't have a conscience. So um, <laughs> he, he literally has the utmost confidence of his receivers, and that's the, the biggest compliment you can give to a receiver um, is that on any given play, you know, it could be a run play, and he might check us a deep ball, or he might check us just something that is a pass um, because he does have confidence in us. And, you know, he's willing to go after the corners because he believes that his receivers are better than the defense. And, you know, I, like I said, that's the biggest compliment you can have is, is knowing your, your quarterback believes in you. <clears throat> Coach, that's a pretty banged up secondary they have. Um, did you guys sense at some point during the week that you guys were going to have a lot of opportunities to uh, kind of go down the field? We, we had to wait and see what they were gonna, going to do because we didn't know if they'd load the box up on us. We, we felt like that we'd be able to go after them with, with our one-on-one -on -one matchups, but you know, a lot of times on film they're very soft where you couldn't get anything over the top. We, we thought that we'd get more of, of our, our stuff underneath, you know, our, our 16 yard routes and, and our stem routes were coming right back downhill. We did get them today. We, we had some luck with that, but they changed us up a little bit and they didn't play exactly the way they had played on, on film. And, and uh, uh, we got a few times, it, it simplified it up in the second half a little bit with, with Gresh where we just called a lot of run and then when they chose to give us man, then he, he went after them and, and we got some big plays there. When did you guys notice the change in the secondary? How did you guys really go after that? Well, you're trying to figure it out. Like I said, they, they did a lot. They weren't giving you the same call with the same formation time and time again. So it, it was hard to, to figure out exactly what they were going to do. And, and uh, uh, we were trying to make the correct call for him rather than just, hey, let, let him see it. And, you know, sometimes you want to make the call and take the pressure off the quarterback, but it was it was much better in the second half to just just call run play. If they give us a box, we'll hand it off. We feel like we're, we're in pretty good shape there, but if they choose to light, try to light us up with, with a blitz and play cover zero, then we feel like we're better outside, and, and that, that really worked for us in the third quarter. Gresh, how's it feel to have it? Three wins in a row heading into uh, the bye week. Uh, that's definitely nice. That was, that was one of the goals that I put forward after the, for myself and uh, I don't know if anyone else on the team, but for me personally, I was like, you know, let, let's just go in this, let's go 3-0, uh, break it up into short increments, uh, going into the bye week, let's win the next two road games, coming back home, uh, finish it off strong, and then kind of refresh this next week, uh, get ready to go. And next, I think we have four more games after that, and then we go into playoffs. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's what we want. So um, just really come out, refresh, and uh, get after them. Josh, do you feel that the defense a little bit because you knew they were going to be so run heavy and that's their style? Do you feel like you know, let you guys play downhill and that kind of fits into what you want to do? Uh, yeah, I mean it was definitely a great week to be you know in the front seven. Um, you know it's what you play football for right here. Um, last week, you know we missed a lot of tackles, so that was a big emphasis. This week is um, tackling, you know, keep your feet moving and stuff. And so I think uh, for the most part we put that on film today. Um, you know, not too many missed tackles. You know, obviously there's stuff to always improve on and um, going into bye week. But I mean, it was it was a fun day for you know be a defensive player and more specifically a linebacker or D lineman. You know, just because there was so much run. Well, uh, Sandry had a pretty decent game today. Uh, filled up the filled up the stat chart a little bit there. Um, 
thoughts on how he played today? Great, you know, and, and think about Josh, and and, uh, and I can go down the list of, you know, 50, 60 players that you know what you're going to get from. You know, all these guys up here, you know exactly what what type of effort you're going to get every single week, and, and the games play out different, but but uh, they're uh, they're giving extreme effort for their teammates, and and uh, Josh made a big play with, with the interception, but. You know, if you go back and look at that, because I, I saw a few of them, how many of his teammates were making great efforts to block for him, you know, and, and uh, we, I was hoping he's going to get it in the end zone, but it was a spectacular uh, play, but every had a, everyone had a hand in it, and uh, uh, Josh is a fun guy, you know, he's a, he's a, a great guy to be around, these guys can speak uh, more about him as a locker room guy, all that kind of stuff, but I really enjoy him, and, and uh, you, you couldn't ask for a better kid to coach. No, he, he was questionable. You know, the trainers weren't sure if they were going to let him play in the second half, and and uh, then how how the kind of you know we scored very quickly early, so there was there was no need to to play him. And, and Trey Favors is very capable, you know, as as a backup running back. So you know, it's going to be great to to have a, a bye week and and get you know we're very healthy. But if if anybody got banged up like Jer Jeremy, uh, you've got a couple weeks to get ready to go. Greg, how much have you worked on the uh, getting sacked in and up to Jeremy? <laughs> uh, every day. That's every day. That's, that's, that's every day drill. Uh, no, I, I was just kind of seeing front. Just kind of called his name. Just kind of toss it to him. <laughs> kind of make a play. That was, that, was, that was fun, though. That's just going out and just making a play. Just football play. <laughs> Gresh, how much did the tone of this game kind of get set even when you had those early turnovers? It was three and out and right back on. Yeah, I mean, it, that's, that's so nice just to, you know, knowing that defense has your back. I mean, you make a bad play and then they come back and just being resilient going at it, uh, just being consistent too. I mean, they, they're consistent all day long and stopping those guys and just, you kind of get in the rhythm then. Uh, and just, if you can't just kind of go in, go out, and then, oh, here we go again. And they just keep pushing it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's credit to the defense going out there and doing that.